Hi everyone, this is Tuweda from Germany. Today I'm going to make a video in English and in this video I will present you my top 12 shortcuts in Photoshop for digital artists. So the first shortcut is obviously the key B and B stands for brush and you can switch from any tool back to the brush tool with just one click and, that, uh, and this is really convenient. The second shortcut is holding the ALT key while having the brush tool selected and this will transform the brush tool into the eyedropper tool just like this and then you can click anywhere on your canvas to pick the desired color like this and then if you release the ALT key the eyedropper tool will turn back to the, to the brush tool. The third shortcut is actually to be precise two shortcuts one shortcut to increase and one shortcut to decrease the size of a tool but uh, I, count, I count them as one shortcut so you can change the size with the squared brackets just like this on the fly it's really useful if you only want to change the size by a small amount and then you don't need to right click on the canvas and choose the size with a slider or type in the value saves a lot of time really useful shortcut the next shortcut is pretty new in Photoshop I think and so it's relatively still unknown and um, yeah the shortcut is actually to open up a color picker by holding the ALT key, the SHIFT key and the right mouse button this small color picker will pop up and at this point you can release the ALT and the SHIFT key they are not needed anymore but you still have to hold the right mouse button. To select a color you have to release, to release the right mouse button which I think is a bit counterintuitive but if you can get used to this, this tool is really great. But there's also a, a big problem with this tool because when you open up this color because there's no way to cancel it. If you open up it, you have to change the, change the color, you have to select the color. The next shortcut is the key E to switch from any tool to the eraser tool and as a, as a digital artist the eraser tool is as important as the brush tool. The next shortcut is Ctrl Z to step backward and probably if you're a good artist you don't need this shortcut but for people like me this is one of the best advantages of digital painting. Next up is Ctrl T to transform an object like if you're drawing a circle and you think it's not round enough you can press Ctrl T and then transform the next shortcut I'm going to present you is, well, not really a shortcut, but some really useful functions you should know. For example, you have outlines and different areas. So you can uh, select your magic wand tool and select this area and then you can hold the shift key and then you will notice the small plus icon under the magic wand tool and this will add the selection. The same thing can be used for the selection tool if you want to select something and uh, move this around or transform it. You can also hold the shift key and again you will notice this plus sign under the plus sign and this will add the selection. If you want to deselect an action or remove a certain area of the selection, you can hold the ALT key and 
notice the minus icon and this will subtract the selection and again this will also work for the magic wand tool if you have selected something you can hold the alt key and again notice the minus key under the magic wand tool and this will deselect it this is especially useful when you want to uh, apply flat colors to your artwork the next shortcut is Control s to save your image and I can't stress it enough to save your work regularly you don't want to lose your actual drawing progress the last three shortcuts will help you to work more interactively with Photoshop for example you can zoom in or zoom out with holding the alt key and moving the uh, scroll wheel just like this then you can hold the R key to uh, rotate your canvas in a non-destructive way I will zoom out a bit so you can see it better if you release the R key it will switch back to your brush tool and also you can move around the canvas with the hand tool by holding the H key and you see the icon switches to this hand and then you can move around your canvas and again if you release the H key it will switch back to the brush tool so this was my video about shortcuts in Photoshop for digital artists I really recommend you to learn and use shortcuts it will really improve your workflow you will work faster and even if you don't like some certain uh, key combinations you can always create your own in Photoshop maybe it will take some time but I think it's really worth it I hope this video was helpful and if you like it please give me a like subscribe my channel or share this video with your friends thank you and see you in the next video